What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on a 1987 Donzi race boat and taking a look around the boat has definitely seen better days but considering the year this boat is actually in very good shape. In this video we will be completely detailing and restoring this Donzi back to its factory condition. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Either way we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this boat detail. So moving on to cleaning the wheels, the first thing I'm going to be using is our Extreme APC on the tires and then I'll be using our Mad Detailing Iron Eraser on the wheels, followed by an assortment of brushes to make sure I get these wheels as clean as I possibly can. Moving on to the paint, I'll be using our Extreme APC followed by the pressure washer and that is going to easily remove all this mildew and dirt from the paint.
So moving on to washing this boat, I'll be using our foam cannon with our mad detailing super blue soap, followed by our mad detailing microfiber wash mitt. We get everything washed off and sprayed off and then the boat will be ready to be pulled inside and then we will continue this detail. Before I can get into any type of paint correction, I need to clay bar the surface first. And for this, I'm using a synthetic clay bar and I'm using our mad detailing slick coat diluted 10 to one. And I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar the entire boat before I move on to any type of paint correction. And to remove all this heavy oxidation and scratches, I'm using my DeWalt rotary polisher with a wool pad. And for the compound, I'm actually using our mad detailing prototype compound that will be released probably within the next couple months. So keep out a lookout for that. But I'm gonna go around the entire boat, get all the oxidation and scratches removed, and then I can move on to polishing the boat with my Rupes polisher.
for the bottom of the boat, it is extremely oxidized. So before I get into buffing it, I'm going to hit it with some 2000 grit sandpaper. I'm going to hit the entire bottom of the boat, and then I'm going to use the rotary polisher to remove all the sanding marks. Now that all the heavy oxidation and scratches have been removed, it's time to move on to polishing the boat. And for this, I'm using my Rupes Mark III polisher, a polishing pad in HD speed. And that is gonna remove all the haziness left behind from the rotary. And it's also gonna leave behind a nice layer of protection and also give the boat a nice layer of gloss.
Moving on to cleaning the seats, I'll be using our Extreme APC and a scrub brush to scrub all this mildew and dirt off the seats. Then I will pressure wash them and they will be ready to go back into the boat. The reason why I did the interior last on this boat is because I didn't want to use the rotary polisher and it fling a bunch of wool hair inside the boat and a bunch of compounds. So that is why I did the interior last. Because if not, I would've just had to go back and clean the interior again. So yeah, that's why I wanna let you guys know I did this boat a little different, but that is why.